Hey everybody, Ron Amadio here from Android Police, and uh, today we're playing with uh, Google Glass experiments. Google left a lot of labs features in the Glass software that you can enable uh, if you know what you're doing. Uh, just throw a few lines of text in the build.prop file and all sorts of fun little features unlock. Uh, my favorite of which is called uh, OK Glass Anywhere. So you can say OK Glass from any screen now and it'll pick it up. It, it pretty much turns glass into like an always listen mode. Uh, it still has to be on, but it's a lot smarter to just say OK Glass from any screen in the UI than have to go to the, the stupid main screen just to give a voice command. Um, the next one is, uh, is web browsing. Uh, hold on. Uh, OK Glass, Google, Android Police. So normally you can only look at these snippets and then you're out of luck if you want to read more. There's, there's nothing Glass will normally do. But uh, the web browsing flag will let you tap on search results and you get an option that says view websites. Uh, this will fire off a browser intent basically. So any browsers that you have installed will, will pop up and offer to open the web page. Uh, Glass doesn't come with its own browser, so you need to bring your own. Um, the only problem is once you launch a, a browser, the Glass UI immediately jumps in front of it. Uh, so Android Police is loading in the background, but you can't actually read it. Uh, I guess we need somebody to make a Glass browser. Uh, it wouldn't really matter if Chrome would open anyway, because you wouldn't be able to scroll or click on stuff or do any of the web pagey things that you would really need to do. Uh, next up is called Debug Launcher, which is all the way over in the settings. Um, if you go to Device Info, you get an option that says Start Launcher. Uh, this is supposed to launch a like a third-party Android launcher, so it should like kick you out to the the stock home screen. But for me, it just crashes. Uh, I have Launcher 2 installed and Apex, but it just does this. I don't know why. I've heard uh, people get this running on like a phone, but on the glass hardware, it just seems to crash. That that's why it's behind a flag, though. It's not. It's not done yet. Um, next is touch voice menu. So you know the voice menu is the the OK glass thing. Don't don't do that. Um, but if you tap on it now, uh, you get this crazy swipey um, menu system. Uh, which basically lists every voice command in a big giant card. Scroll. There we go. Um, this is not really any good because you can already scroll on the main OK Glass screen. Uh, you just slide your finger up and down and uh, it'll scroll through options and you can tap on one to pick it. This is like the default thing. So the, the lab replacement one is a lot more inefficient because you have to swipe over a bunch of times just to get to a card. The last thing I can show you is Wink, which is back over in the settings. Um, you know, Wink, this is Wink to take a picture, which we've heard about a million times, but you can enable it with a nice, easy um, build.prop flag. And uh, it's not on my head, so I really can't wink to take a picture, but I can show you Calibrate, which is kind of neat. Um, you get this live-action picture of someone winking, and you have to wink for the exact same duration they do, and then it will take a picture, and only then. So it actually works pretty well. You don't get a lot of false positives. Uh, it, it does actually work nicely. And you can also scroll over to Help, and there's a million tips in here about how to wink just right so that it works. Uh, that's about it. That's that's the stuff that works and is interesting uh, for glass experiments. So uh, I will make another video when I find something else interesting.